Hey everyone, I'm Lego Warrior, aka Julie. Welcome to my channel. All right, my twin Heather, aka Crazy Beautiful MUA. She and I do a collab about once a month. For this collab, Heather suggested we do a spring look, and I said, heck yeah. I'm gonna link Heather's channel in the eye, so please give her some love and go watch the look she put together. All right, let's get started. This here is a new product that I've never used before. When I say new, new to me. It is the Lumi Glotion from L'Oreal. I'm not even sure where I got this, but probably from Ulta. Can you even see it? It's right there. Um, I'm hoping it's dupish or similar to my favorite, which is from Wet n Wild. Hopefully that is enough. So let's slather it on and see if it gives me a nice glowy dewy face by the way as i slather this on can any of you tell does my hair look different yes it's really long i'm overdue for a haircut but i'm referring to the color i've used the um sun in product about five times now does it look any lighter or just the same um, it's still, my hair is still very ginger looking, but until I can get an appointment <laughs> and get some blonde highlights, I'm getting used to it. All right, that there did a nice job of giving a soft glow. Not as good as my Wet n Wild, but pretty close. So I went through my collection and grabbed a foundation that I think was possibly a little too dark before. If this doesn't work, by the way, this is from Rare Beauty, and I have it in the shade 160C. This is the Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation. Lazy Girl approved with the Doe Foot. Oh yeah, I remember this one. Fortunately, not a lot of product comes out, so you do have to dip in a few times. Oh, look at me. I forgot to put my hair up in Momento. When I do my makeup on my own, I just hold my bangs up. But I guess for the video, we will be official. All right, need to get some on my forehead. Let's go in with a brush today. This here is from Sonia G. I got it in the Lucky Beauty, no, Beautylish Lucky Bag. I need a little more moisture that is a little drying. I'm just going to go in with my Misha because I know how it performs. I like the undertone. And that way I can grab my brush, or excuse me, my sponge and smoosh it all in. I love using a sponge. Now for concealer. If you're new, welcome. This here is from Tarte. It is the Creaseless Concealer. Everyone else who's been following me, thank you. You're well aware of this concealer. It's my current holy grail, if you can call it that. Um, honestly, I was going to use something else, but I really need and want to hit pan on it, and I'm really low. So I'm just going to use it so I can hopefully get it into my April empties video. And it's very dewy, which could be considered a spring. I'm going to call it spring. I'm going to go old school and add a little here and here. I guess it's not old school, but this is very right like that. Okay. Leave me a comment if this doesn't bring you back to, I don't know, 2016 beauty YouTube. All right, my skin, I think, is looking very dewy, very spring-like. Let's move along to contour, and I'm excited. This here is from Makeup Revolution, and I've seen several YouTubers talk about this, how it's really good, and if you have fair skin, it has a nice neutral tone where it's not going to be orange, so 
let's give it a try. I'm gonna take that same brush I used for my foundation, use that, because it's the perfect shape for contouring. All right. That is lovely. Let's get it towards the hairline, all right. I'm gonna take the same sponge I used for my foundation and just kind of blend it in a little nicer, get those edges. All right, now I was able to find a blush product or products that to me screamed spring. The first one is this one here, because look at the packaging, very spring-like with all the flowers. And this is from a brand called Rachel Couture. It's the liquid blusher in the shade Sugar Pink. So I'm going to put a little on the back of my hand here. And since it's a liquid, I'm just gonna use my fingers and then go in with a damp sponge. I don't know if I use this or if I just swatched it. Um, oh, she is bubblegum pink. I'm gonna take a different damp sponge because I may need to go back in with it, that other sponge with a little bit of foundation. I don't wanna get pink all over it, okay. Very soft, very subtle, as I expected. There's still some on the back of my hand. I'm just going to swipe it with the sponge and use that up. Don't want it to go to waste. In real life, it is lovely. It's very subtle. It's a little dewy. I don't know what's gonna pick up on camera with my bright lights, but let's go in with the other blush product that to me also was screaming spring. And that is this blush here from Physicians Formula. And it's spring because look at the little flowers. So I'm going to just swirl my brush all around. And have I used this? Did I use it once? I wanna say yes, but I can't remember. So let's just add a little, little more, because why not? I'm only filming, not leaving my house. Okay, well, I'm looking a little clown-like, but at least you can see it on camera. And this is why I used a different sponge, because I'm gonna tone it down. This is a great trick. If you ever go a little ham on your contour, on your bronzer, on your blush, just take the brush or the sponge that you use to apply your foundation and just pounce it on, tap it on with if you're using a brush, and it will help Settle it down and blend the edges. All right, so for highlighter, I'm going for my tried and true, the one I'm trying to hit pan on. Plus, it's a nice soft pink, which to me screams spring. If you haven't tried a highlighter from Ofra yet, where have you been? Oh my goodness. This is my favorite formula. It is lovely. It also works really well on your eyes in the on the brow bone in the inner corner and obviously on your cheeks it does not emphasize any kind of texture and it's a nice bling from outer space if you're into that or you could go with a really really soft touch and get a lighter look again i'm going to take same sponge and just tap 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 blend it out all right now is time for the most spring-like palette I could find in my collection. That palette is this one here from the old JS. If you know, you know. But if you haven't seen it, this here is the Bloodlust palette. Uh, does that not scream spring? At least to me it does, because to me spring, or what I think of a spring eye look, is all about pastels, yellows, greens, pinks, purples. And this palette has all of those colors. All right, I'm going to prime my eyelids using the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas. This is what the box looks like. This is what the product looks like. You need the tiniest amount. It really goes a long way. I'm gonna smooth in my uh, concealer that I put up top there and just Blend this in. Put a little too much on. I'm just gonna take 
the other end of my sponge and just kind of press that in. Alright, I'm going to take this shade here, Monarchy, and use it just kind of in the transition and to set down the clean canvas. It's a very soft, subtle, kind of taupey brown. I'm now going to go into this shade here, Deviant. This is where the spring color comes in, and hopefully I don't regret using purple. Heather, because I love you so much, and because this is how I interpret spring, this is what I'm going for. Cross your fingers for me that I don't look cray cray. Because if you know, you all should know if you're watching me here. I'm a neutral, kind of warm, pinky, orangey, peachy kind of gal. But this is me being spring going in with some uh, lilac purples here. Okay. Not mad at that. I'm actually really happy I used that Dobie Brown first because I think they're blending nicely together and it's making it more comfortable for me. So, all right. I'm going to take that same purple and... Um, Kind of get it under my eyes. Ooh. Look at me getting all fancy. Like, I could even go to, what do you call those? Like a rave or something? No, not me. But my makeup look could definitely attend. All right, now I'm going to go into this shade here, a Vivid Mood, and kind of darken up the lilac shade. Very pretty. It's just not my normal jam. But hey, as I mentioned earlier, I'm not leaving my house. So that's the best time for me to get adventurous and try looks that I normally, you know, don't do. Sometimes I'm like, ooh, that worked out better than I thought. Other times I'm like, thank goodness I'm not leaving the house. But leave me a comment and let me know if I can pull off this purple eye look. I'm going to take whatever is remaining and hit the outer third of the eye on the bottom there. All right, I need to do some blending. I'm going to grab the same brush that I used with that original taupe and just kind of help out the crease a little bit. All right, now I'm going to go into this kind of dark shade here. It's, I thought it was black, but it actually has some purple. And just put a little bit right on the outer edge just to add a little depth. Kind of drag it as if it were eyeliner. Just a little bit. Look at me doing a wing with eyeshadow, but actually I'm going to go in with actual eyeliner but um yeah okay that added a little little depth Ooh, I think I see some uh what do you call that fallout don't want purple on my cheeks all right now comes the fun part and that is these shimmer shades in this palette are spectacular uh which one do I want to use Let's go with this pink one right here. Take my finger first. And, ooh, okay. Can I hit up right in the center there? Uh-oh, got a little down below. I forgot that I have fat fingers, but... Hard part with that is matching it up on both the eyes because you get one little oopsie. That's really pretty. Okay. I'm gonna grab a small brush and try to mimic the oopsie I did. Let's see if I can. 
All right, there we go. A little there. Now, it's a little monochromatic, so I'm going to be really adventurous. I want a little extra extra, so I'm going to go into this shimmer shade here and just get a little extra, a little extra right here on the like outer thirds. Ooh, that's beautiful. Okay, perfect. Right there. Okay, um, I'm definitely lilac, definitely purple, but am I what you would consider spring? In hindsight, I probably should have done a yellow tangerine look, um, but let me know if this is what you, you would consider a spring look. I'm going to go off camera, do my eyeliner, and touch up my mascara, and then we'll finish up with lips. All right, I did my eyeliner, touch up my mascara, and now I just realized I forgot to finish up my eye look. I'm gonna go into this shade here and hope I don't regret that. Ooh, let's do a swatch first. Okay, no, it's very lightweight. I'm gonna use that shade for my brow bone. Okay, very pretty. A little more pink than normal but you know again in my head I'm going to a music festival and then I'm also going to take that same shade and get my inner corner there because the other shade just you know wasn't quite doing it for me <laughs> it was now I'm just going to take a clean-ish brush no product on it that I use today um, and just kind of blend a little little better here all right let's move along to my favorite part of a get ready with me and that is the lip products you've seen me use this product before it is from wet and wild it's like my favorite it is the matte matte in skinny dipping it's the perfect cool tone pink shade which I think would go beautiful with this look because we really want everyone to focus on the eyes and the lips are complementary. Now, I never use only one lip product, particularly something that's matte. So I figured with this look would be a good time to use this product here. Of course, everything is rubbed off. I want to say it's from Bella Pierre and I got it in an ice cream beauty box sometime last year. It is just a small little doe foot it has a very sweet scent but it is very um what do you call that holographic and pink which to me is screaming spring all right let me take my hair clip out zhuzh up my hair and we'll take a look and see how well this final look came out all right, let's do a close up. What are your thoughts? Purpley pink, is it for me? Do you consider it spring? If not, oh well, apologies, Heather. All right, now I wanna hear from you. Let me know your thoughts on the products I used today. Have you used any of them before? Do you think this look constitutes spring? You can tell me the truth. It won't hurt my feelings. All right. I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so by now, I would love if you would subscribe. Remember to go check out Heather's video and channel. Show her some love. Click the bell icon. Hit the thumbs up. Do all the stuff that really helps us YouTubers out. All right. Thank you, Heather, for always wanting to do collabs with me. And thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. Bye, everyone.